Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Professor Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using boilerplate. This is our part number 22. Inside this video session guys, we are going to continue about adding layouts to our plugin. In the last video, we had seen that how can we make layout of our plugin page. So successfully we have integrated one page layout if I back to plugin click on create book so this is the layout so far we have integrated with our custom plugin that is book management tool so inside this video we will make about list book this is the menu which list all the book what we will create via this form so before making the view for this list book let's make some sub menus for book self as we know that we have generated two dynamic tables while activating our plugin. First, that is TBL books. Second, that is TBL book self. If I back to plugin, now go inside this in admin folder and this is the main admin folder. Scroll down and inside this we have called book management menu. Inside this we are going to add two sub menus more so if I copy or before copy that copy here pasting it here and pasting it here this is not create book this is create book self and here let's create book self manage options create book hyphen let's say self create book underscore let's say self here now this is the first sub menu before create book and second let's say that list book self if I copy and replace with this create book this is all about let's say list hyphen book self and finally the callback function is something book management underscore list underscore book underscore self here so if I save all these changes back to browser reload this page now we have two more sub menus something create book self as well as list book self we will make the layout of these pages in upcoming videos for now, we are going to create the layout for list book. If I press Ctrl U and search for the file, let's say data table. In the previous videos, this is the file means this is the CSS file for data table as well as we have successfully attached the JavaScript plugin file for that. Now we are going to use data table inside this. So before attaching these files means before making the layout of data table inside plugin we have to include these files. So this is the official website of data table called datatables.net. Inside this website at previous videos we have downloaded these files called CSS and JavaScript file. Let's make the layout for our plugin from this datatables.net website. Go to examples and click on zero configurations. Scroll down and here inside this HTML. First, I am to copy all this HTML provided. But before that, if I go to plugin, this is for the create book. So open up the file and if I search for the callback function which basically we are calling on clicking of the menu means sub menu let's say list book and this is all about this is our plugin slug means sub menu slug copy that searching here and here it is so this is the method actually it is calling so search for this method and here it is now inside this we need to copy all the codes what basically we did inside previous video to attach our create book page this is all about using php buffer concept copy the code go here 
pasting it here. Now this time, go to partials folder. Let's create a new file something tmpl let's list hyphen books.php. Now inside this, instead of calling this create book, we need to call let's say list hyphen books.php. Go here and this is the create book layout. If I copy this layout, pasting it here, back to browser, reload this page. Now this is the layout. Again back to header and instead of create book, let's say list book. If I save all these changes, reload this page. Now this is all about the header, what we have changed. Now let's go ahead and remove this layout and integrate about HTML table what we are seeing here. Copy all the code. So I am going to copy all the code. Copy that. Back to editor. And instead of this form, I am to remove this form and pasting it here. If I save all these changes, back to browser, reload this page. Now we have a table. So right now it is not in format of data table because we have to use a method for that. So inside this same, if you go to the JavaScript tab, this is actually what we need to call this is id of table dot data table. This method is available when we integrate or means link this data table dot mean dot js file. Instead, it will give an error something data table not defined. Back to editor and go inside main plugin file something inside this admin and if I search go inside this nq script and this is something here. Now we have attached our uh, JavaScript file book management tool hyphen admin dot js. Open up that file and inside this file we are going to do about all the JavaScript code. So here if I get rid of that and let's say that simply jQuery function and inside this we are going to call our data table method. If I copy this code back to our editor, pasting it here, now go to this tmpl list books. Now inside this, I am to change this ID. So let's say that this is tbl list hyphen book. Now if I copy this ID, save this file first, go here and I'm going to change that. Remember, WordPress provides by default jQuery, but we need to change this dollar symbol into jQuery. Either we can change it here or simply define, let's say, let dollar equal to jQuery. Because if we use dollar symbol in these things, then dollar is not defined, an error will give by WordPress inside console. So if we change let's say jQuery or before that let's find this ID inside HTML. So let's say if dot length greater than zero. So copy this code and pasting here. Why we are doing this code because firstly I am checking that this selector basically exists in opened HTML or not. If it exists means the selector length is greater than zero then we are attaching data table method with that. If we save all these changes back to browser reload this page. Now as we can see that our simple layout is now converted into data table format. If we click on inspect I think that we are getting some error of some means images that is sort both png not found sort ascending order this image is not found. So we need to download these images as well. How can we download that? Simply 
copy the message of image type here something let's say sort both if I again go and check something dot png data table here we need to write called data table if I pressing enter we will get various links to download that so we need to go any of the github repository download that image and we need to place inside our assets folder or anywhere like images folder if we will create inside this either we can place here or we can simply place inside assets folder after attaching those images or putting inside these folders only we have to link that if I again back to our browser close this reload this page now this time we have a layout of list book so right now we have two layouts First, for the create book, we will create our book from this form and we are going to list all the books to this data table. Now, let's change the column names of this table. So, we have the columns as name, email, publication and so on. Back to editor, go inside this TMPL list books and here, firstly, let's say about book ID. Second, we have book name this is all about book email next we have let's say publication now let's say about book image so this is all about book image next we have called book cost that is let's say amount and finally status so here let's say status and let's say action here so if we get rid of this T body again if I go and remove this T body let's say T body here this is the blank if I copy this TR this is for the footer header means header and this is for the footer header if I save all these changes go here click on this link so right now inside this table we have no data but keep in mind we have changed the layout or the column names as per the columns what we have inside this create book layout so successfully guys inside this video we have integrated one more layout for our plugin development in the next videos same we will see for the create book self as well as list book self as well so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.